if anyone tries to kill me it was at drake i'm snitching right now that may mean nothing to you right now but shortly after that not so cryptic message was posted to instagram by rapper xsx tentacion this happened the south florida rapper gaining even more popularity since he was gunned down in an ambush in deerfield beach i know that instagram post sounds crazy on his face why would the most famous most successful rapper on the planet in his prom drake murder an up-and-coming rapper who was just getting his big break sounds wild well wait a second now, shortly after his preemptive snitching on Drake, Triple X or Jose Dwayne Ricardo Anfroy's life was taken in a gruesome robbery turned murder. He was leaving Reva Motorsports in Miami when they pulled up. Two masked men emerged from a black Dodge Journey, which was blocking the BMW i8 that XSX Tentacion was driving. He was trying to pull out of the parking lot, but he was blocked. The men ran up and after his passenger and step uncle, Leonard Kerr, jumped out of the BMW. One of the gunmen shot XXX as the other robber grabbed a Louis Vuitton bag that was around his neck with $50,000 in $100 bills inside of it. Now, later, some people would theorize that Triple X had took this money out of the bank because he planned on paying a hitman to find Drake. But the reality was he was purchasing a couple of motorcycles from this dealership and, well, that never happened. He killed him. I still think Drake, like, I think he, he's he's not a man. I think he's a that's a move if he if he would have showed that he he's a hospitable person and that he's really in for the culture rather than being a f taking my running off with it and then putting it on his album then he would have got my kudos he would have got my respect i would have let him hop on the remix take 100 percent royalty rate i would have done it now his death especially with being how brutal and sudden it was shocked hip-hop and his fans figured that they knew exactly who did it because he told them right now, XSX Tentacion, who was only 20 when he passed, was in the middle of blowing up and also had a cult-like following and a unique flow that Drake would eventually kind of steal. And Triple X, if you knew him or was a fan of him, wasn't the kind of guy to sit back and let that happen and not say anything because he was afraid of the bigger artist. And also, he had a hell of a case against Drake that was making him look bad in the streets and in the industry, which, you know, Drake couldn't have when he was at one of his hottest points. That same week bro demon just got out i gave my bro an advance love is just not in my plan not even taking a check i hear that that ain't in my den i'm like what the fuck all right bitch you is your mess hey can't keep my my past. If you have ears and you heard that, it's hard to deny that he didn't have a point. And add that to the Instagram post and the fact that, oh, I forgot to mention, Drake was sending subliminal shots in his records in famous Drake fashion. SMS, triple X. That's the only time I ever shoot below the net. And yeah, fans started putting two and two together. Less than two weeks after X died, Drake went on tour. He called it the assassination vacation tour. Below the net. Why you keep on shooting if you know that dead? X died of shots to the neck. That same summer on his album, he wrapped Louis bags in exchange for body bag. X was wearing a Louis Vuitton bag when he died. And like, cool, maybe some of this is a reach, right? Drake and Rick Ross, for example, love to rap about pain to get people knocked off or putting money on this guy's head. Like, we get it. You got the money to pay for it. So keeping all of that in mind, I get why this sounds crazy, but his fans feel vindicated as Drake is now being used in court by the defense team of one of the men accused of taking his life. He came out on social media and said, guys, before he does, if anybody kills me, it's Drake. Do you think in that time, time span that they went and they addressed him, they talked to him? No. So it may be a crazy theory, but they dragging him into court because apparently somebody believes it could be true. So we have a message from X before his death, pointing to Drake as the killer. Some diss tracks back and forth. Drake's history of borrowing, which is well documented. Drake kill your record? Did it? Did it hurt your record when he when he put it yeah. out? Yeah, yeah, it really did. You know that Damn. as a DJ. We also have a murder that seems to line up with the timing of their beef, and apparently the United States justice system thinks it's worth dragging Drake into court to address this. Sh you see where I'm going with this? <laughs> if you're looking at it from his fan's point of view, this could start adding up. But at the same time, one of the men who claims he was involved in the robbery slash murder out of the four being prosecuted is telling on everybody, like all the guys in the video. 
And the story of what actually happened to X is even crazier than Drake sending shooters from Toronto. Trust me. But we'll get into all of that and why people still think that Drake might be guilty and what is being said in the courtroom about it. But first, I am Joe Stone. This is the Church of Joe Stone podcast. Well, cool comes to pray. You come to stay and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another video coming your way where we find the most shocking and provocative news and take it to church. Now, last Thursday, Robert Allen, a suspect in the murder of local rapper XX Tentacion, entered the witness stand. He provided testimony against his accomplices, Michael Boatwright, Trayvon Newsom, and Derek Williams, who have been charged with first-degree murder and armed robbery alongside of him. Now, he testified about how one of the defendants, Trayvon Newsom, tried to scare him off of testifying, saying that... <laughs> And no, it, he wasn't sent by Drake, but apparently before he could testify, he started screaming at the guy because they met on the way to the courthouse that he was working for the white man. So yeah, the story gets crazier. Hold on. And as we dive into the case, we start finding out what the real evidence from the prosecutors and the people involved, one of it being images of the suspects flaunting cash, the money that they stole allegedly from rapper XXX and posted to social media two days after the murder. These guys wasn't that smart. Talk about self snitching. But Alan, the person that's telling us all these details goes in and tells us about the events leading up to and including XX death. So on June 18, 2018, the local rapper was fatally shot outside of a motorcycle shop in Broward County. And they started going through the footage. And in the courtroom, the prosecutor lays out a compelling case of exactly what happened to the rapper. Now in the courtroom, the prosecutor doesn't pull punches and tells everyone exactly what happened and how these young men came together to kill Triple X. And in Allen's own statement on June 17, 2018, the four of them planned to rent a car and rob people in random locations. According to Allen, Williams was the getaway driver and Allen said he was the one who suggested renting the car. Now again, these guys weren't that smart because if you rent a car and go rob people in it, it's not going to be hard for them to figure out who you rented it from. And it's not like they just rented it from a stranger anyway, they rented it from someone they knew. Now before these guys could go on their super cool robbing spree where they just pick people out at random, I don't know what how much good money's in that, but apparently they weren't too wrong they came up on 50K. But to execute this plan, the first thing these will be criminals needed to do was go grab some ski masks because you can't go ride people without the proper face mask. They went to the motorcycle dealership to do that. And when they walked in, they scoped out Triple X, realizing that he was a rapper and then started working on a plan to ambush him when he left. All of this spur of the moment, having no idea that he was going to be there and just making a decision to rob him when they happened to see him in the store as they were buying ski masks to go rob other people. Crazy, right? Unfortunately for Triple X, he had $50,000 on him because again, he was supposed to be purchasing a bike that day. And that is also why he had his step uncle with him. But fast forward, these guys end up waiting outside of the dealership. And when Jose tries to leave, you see two men get out of a van. There were also two men still inside. One who is now telling everybody what happened. They approach the car with the guns and start demanding the jewelry and the bag around his neck. They eventually get the bag, his uncle runs off and they still shoot him. Which also led people to believe this may have been a hit because why would you kill him if you've already gotten what you need out of him? But they did. And these guys being the geniuses they are, after finding out that they had committed a murder, they crashed their rented Dodge SUV by rear ending a stop vehicle. Because I guess they were too busy counting all that money to keep their eyes on the road. Apparently they said that each man got $15,000 of the stolen money, but he only got $5,000 because he stayed in the car while the robbery was going on. That's probably also why he ended up snitching. I didn't do everything that y'all did. And also y'all only gave me five bands. So I'm telling everybody. And now this is where we get back into the conspiracy because in their opening arguments, Allen's attorneys warned the jury that they would try to cast doubt on Allen's story, with one attorney effectively claiming that Allen had lied to avoid a lifetime in jail. Like he just made all of this stuff up about these innocent guys because he doesn't want to go to jail. Which sounds like a stretch, but again feeds into the rumor. But prosecutors for the state are banking on Allen's testimony to convince the jury that the pile of digital evidence pointing to him and everyone else is credible and that his testimony is going to seal the deal. Now, with all of that being said, and everybody bringing their cases to the floor, not only is XXX Tentation's mother, Cleopatra Bernard, homicide investigators, forensic and cellular experts, but also Drake is expected to testify in the coming weeks. The judge, Michael Usman, who was in charge of the trial, signed an order last week requiring Drake to sit for a disposition on February 24th. 
And if Drake was to ignore this, he could end up being charged. Now, I think his lawyers are trying to fight this and trying to make it so he doesn't have to appear and that he can just, I guess, answer their questions through him. But nonetheless, in the court of law, there have been allegations of Drake being a part of this in some way. Now, Drake's lawyer appeared in court to argue that the Canadian rapper slash singer shouldn't be required to sit for questioning about his alleged link to the murder of Triple X after the defense attorney of one of the men accused of killing the South Florida rapper repeatedly attempted to depose Drake. But Derek Williams, defense lawyer of Marcio Padilla, stood firm on his stance that Drake should be deposed as a part of his client's due process. Like, look, you gotta understand, this guy is defending one of the people being accused of the murder. His job is to get him off. He's going to pull every string and every card that he possibly can. And if he can just cast doubt beyond a reasonable doubt that these guys actually did this murder, that's all he needs to get a case turned over or to get a not guilty verdict now is it believable that's something else but he has to try it and because of the very public beef initially judge uzan pushed for the deposition to take place basically the court backed him saying look we have to explore every avenue if you are saying that these guys did it when the person who was murdered said that this guy did it but however in the most recent update drake would no longer have to sit for a deposition in the case after the judge granted his motion to avoid it and yes there's gonna be some illuminati conspiracy theories over that because if you or i were named as a possible reason why someone else was unalived you could bet that we would have to go to court for it. We wouldn't be able to just, nah, we don't, I don't want to go. But that's the story that we have now, that these three young men wanted to go on a robbing spree, happened upon Triple X, and unfortunately ended his life after robbing him for his money. They went on the run, took Instagram pictures with it, eventually ended up getting caught because they crashed the getaway car, among a lot of other bad decisions. And now the guy who got the least amount of money is now telling on everyone else. But still, there are people who believe that Drake has something to do with all of this on some level that maybe he orchestrated it behind the scenes paid the guys to set him up and they're just not snitching like how would they know to be in that one place on the day that x had this amount of money is it just a crazy coincidence or is there something else going on and what about all the subliminal shots that drake has sent over the years are all of those just mistakes it's not like they didn't have a legitimate beef that was making drake look bad it's not like that post didn't go up even if x tried to say later on that he was hacked but let me know what you think in the comments you think he just has something to do with it? Do you think the whole thing is crazy? And what do you think about the young men who are now being accused of and probably will be prosecuted for the death of Triple X? Do you think that they will get their day in court? You think they'll get off or what? Let me know. But first, I am Joe Stone. This is the Church of Joe Stone podcast. Well, cool comes to pray. You coming to stay and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another video coming your way where we find the most shocking and provocative news and take it to church. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>